towards deeper. Life is the dance between what you desire most and what you fear most. And the way you get out of it is this. I know I gotta finish. Frankly, no. no. I'll fucking do this and do it this. Way. No. He's, got, he's, got, he's got 200 people waiting downstairs. I got it, I got it, I got it. You're not gonna have a good time. The most, I believe that our decisions are what control our lives, not our conditions. Who buys that? You may not, but if you do, how many buy it's your conditions, not decisions? And I'm here to tell you every moment of our life we're making decisions. And if you look back on the last five or 10 years of your life, I'd be willing to bet you've made one or two decisions that if you really thought about it, if you made a different decision, you'd have a totally different life. Better or worse, I don't know, but clearly different. <laughs> How many think of a decision that if you made a different decision, everything would be different, like who you're gonna love or marry, or make love to, or kids, right? So decisions are it. And if you asked me a year and a half ago the most important decision that shapes your life, I'd say who are you gonna love? Who are you gonna marry? Who are you gonna be with? Because who you spend time with is who you become. And I am lucky as hell because I got the best woman on the planet as my wife, and some of you have been to my events and know it's true and it's not bullshit or hyperbole. But as much as I worship her, she and I both agree there's a more important decision because your husband or wife could die, and then what? Or they could leave you. There's so much in life that happens. So the most important decision is deciding you're going to be happy no matter what because in a place of joy, and I don't just mean happy, if you're just happy, your face hurts after a while, right? <laughs> I mean, there's two kinds of states you can live in. Beautiful states of being, which could be anything that empowers. It could be love, it could be passion, it could be courage, it could be determination, it could be awe. Because in those states, life is magnificent. And you also are magnificent to other people because you're so uplifted. And then there are states of suffering, which if you're an achiever, you never use that word. If you ask me a year ago, do you suffer? I say, suffer? Are you fucking crazy? I had the greatest life. But achievers don't call it suffering, but it is. What suffering is, is pissed off. Suffering is overwhelmed. Suffering is stress. Suffering is worry. Suffering is concern. Who here suffers in your life? Say I. I, you, I used to say, well, that's part of life. Bullshit. That's this brain. If you let this brain run you, you're going to have a fucked up life. You can achieve a lot. The brain's good at achievement. But it'll never even allow you to enjoy an apple. Because it'll go, is it organic? <laughs> Where does it come from? Right? Your heart, your spirit, your soul can do that. So the decision I made a year and a half ago that's the most important decision in my life, my wife's made it, my family's made it, is that we will not suffer. Suffering arises because the brain tries to find shit to worry you with. That's what it does. But we witness it now, and we, don't, we have what we call a 90-second rule. If I've decided to end suffering in my life, which means in 90 seconds I end it because I realize I'm only suffering because I'm believing my own thoughts. Who's ever thought, I'm going to kill the motherfucker? Who's ever thought this thought before? Yes. But you didn't do it, did you? I hope not. <laughs> you didn't do it because you didn't believe your own thoughts. We only suffer when we believe. If I don't get this, then my life is over. If I do this, everyone will hate me. The human mind has to be disciplined. If you don't discipline it, you'll have no life. So the way I do it, simple. The suffering comes up, because it does. The mind does it, and I go, 90 seconds, okay. Look at that stupid thought going by. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Look at that thought I used to believe. And I let go. I step into my body, I breathe, and slow things down in my breath. I breathe in my heart, and that changes your state. And then I look at it, and then I shift to, what can I appreciate? What can I love? What can I enjoy in this moment? And every moment, what's wrong is available. But so is what's right. And if you train yourself what's right, it's not about positive fucking thinking, it's about intelligence. Because when you're stressed out and frustrated, you don't treat people at the ideal level, you don't perform at the ideal level, and you sure as fuck don't enjoy your life, and what are you doing it all for? So it's a muscle. And if you use this muscle there, but it starts, and it's a seed I wanna plant that you can leave here and change your life with. The film's beautiful, but what do you do with it? One decision you can make would change it all. To decide life's too fucking short to suffer. That I am not going to allow that to dominate me. I'm not gonna let a two million year old set of software run my life today. I'm updating that shit. And the way I'm gonna do it's really simple. Find a way to enjoy and appreciate it. I'll give it to you as this final example. I, I, I go, I fly a lot obviously around the world, there are 15 countries a year. I'm fortunate enough that I intercontinental planes, unbelievable privilege, I can go on my own. But I would always uh, charter locally meaning domestically, and then it was too much money, I'd go overseas on a commercial flight, and I'm going Qantas Airlines to Australia. It's a 14-hour flight. And I would have so much stress about a 14-hour flight. That's what the fucking brain will do. What's stressful about fucking sitting in a chair? <laughs> you say to me, oh my God, I came in, you know what I went through? I was I'm on the flight, we sat on the ground for 45 minutes, and they wouldn't let us out. Can you imagine? And 
after the 45 minutes? Did you fly like a fucking bird in the plane without doing shit? Did you watch a movie while you're flying? Birds can't do that shit. And what I realized is on the plane, the first thing they announce on the plane always is we don't have internet. Because they're used to domestically having it. God forbid you're apart from Instagram or Facebook for a few hours, right? And I was just as guilty. I get on the plane this one time, and they announce, we have internet. It was like God descended into the airplane. People literally stood up and cheered. I'm not bullshitting. Clap, cheered, and I was cheering inside. I didn't stand up, I was cheering inside. And what do you think happened within 15 to 20 minutes? It went down, and it never came up again for 14 hours. And what do you think people responded? Like, well, that was nice. What do you think they did? This is bullshit. What is this crap? Who's running this thing? What a dumbass way to do it. 15 minutes earlier was a fucking miracle. Now it's an expectation. You want to change your life forever? You want a life of fulfillment? I'll give it to you in one phrase. Trade your expectation for appreciation. Your whole life will change in an instant. Stop expecting your husband or wife to be a certain way. Stop expecting your kids to be a certain way. I expect, I, I used to be like, how could somebody do this? How could they mess this up? Or, you know, when you've got 18 companies and 1,200 employees on three continents and seven industries, five billion in sales, there's some pressure in there. What's the chance? What's the chance of somebody right now fucking up in one of my companies? What are the chances somebody's doing that? 100% it's happening. So all I need to do is have this to be pissed off, frustrated, and suffering. Because someone would text me. They'd tell me about the problem. I'd be like, what the fuck inside, right? I realized my happiness was so cheap, it no longer is. It's the thing I value most because I know with that, I put on the oxygen mask and now I can help everyone that I love. Decide if you choose to to stop the fucking suffering. The only way to do it is burn the boats and then you'll take the fucking island. If there's a way out, you'll take it. Don't do it, move forward. God bless you. Thank you.